guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I'm here with Xavier Verstrada of Belgium. Xavier, I see a beautiful new backdrop. Oh yeah, uh, sometimes it's a, a photograph, they say more than, than 1,000 words, eh? one photograph. Uh, and uh, this is uh, a short collection from the actual uh, pigeons, with exception from, from Top Star or uh, some of the best uh, race or uh, breeding pigeons. Sometimes a new one, but... Uh. Now, Xavier, uh, how many years has your family been racing? Uh, now it's uh, 50, 55 years. Well, we started in uh, 68, 69. So uh, it's now about 55, 54, 55 years. That we racing uh, with pigeons, yeah. A long time of playing, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and w uh, when you started off, what did you start off playing? What was, this, what was the kind of races? Uh, in the beginning it was uh, the first two years only uh, sprint races, but I took them from 200, 300, 400 kilometers. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, okay. Uh, and after uh, two years, uh, we... Uh, my father gave them to uh, the Olympiade for Belgium in his second year, uh, middle distance, with the golden ball. Yeah, and it was a fantastic pigeon yeah, when you can go. But in the beginning, yeah, we, we, we were learning a lot of things. Uh, we know nothing in the beginning, but it's still now the same. Like 55 years ago, it's 85% the quality of the pigeon and the other 15% is the food, the corn, the loft, the motivation but uh, and uh, what I have learned in those 50 years is that uh, you need pigeons when you was doing selections at, at around 500 kilometers or more yeah. uh, I don't like I, I have respect for sprint races uh, and, and short distance but that is the quickest coming inside and so, but that is not the difference between a good pigeon and a bad pigeon yeah, uh, from races from 100 or 150 kilometers. So, yeah. so you say you start to see the qualities once you get over 500 kilometers, yes. six, 700 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then comes the real good pigeons up and, and the, the rule of the fancier is, is smaller and smaller. Yeah. So basically what you're saying is it has less to do with the fancier and more to do with the quality of the pigeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so what are you thinking uh, better, hens or cocks? Uh, after all, uh, hands are more important so well for racing or as breeding, but especially in race time, uh, we make uh, better results with, uh, with hands. Yeah? So well as youngster as, and as yearling and so, uh, I think they are easier to, to motivate them and, and they, they recuperate it faster, they, they don't fight. Um, you have not not the same problems with with, with hands like with cocks. Uh, with cocks, it's many times a, a, a catastrophe uh, after a few fighting or. Uh, the cocks are very emotional, aren't they? Yeah. yeah you you okay. can set them off very easily. They they can do. Maybe they are stronger, but also here in Belgium, you have some mostly of the time two or three days transport transport days. And that is uh, the bad time for, for the cops. Uh, with hands, you have no problem with them. They, they handle it much. And yeah, I think that is one of the reasons uh, that you make better results. And the hands are, are, are with also in, in, in the breathing loft. Uh, are hands more important than with cops, I'm thinking. And the quality and, and the condition when you couple the pigeons is also extremely important. Uh, the time from when you couple them. Now, now when you're looking at bringing in a pigeon in, are you looking at bringing in hens or bringing in cocks or it doesn't matter to, to purchase? If you were to purchase, yeah. what would you be more, more we, we interested need, in? Normally we, I need more cocks and hens. Uh, more hens, sorry, than, than, than cocks eh? because with one good cock and, and two, three different hens you can breathe in faster and, and see the, the results. Yeah. But uh, 
yeah, fans are my favorites. Uh, uh, I know fans is in Belgium and they race only with, with hands. Yeah? Uh, so that's just, that's a good reason. Yeah? So in the 55 years or 50 years plus, yeah. what are your, what's your, what, in your loss, what have been your maybe three most impact pigeons in, in those years? Oh, yeah. Uh, then I was making the difference. Yeah? Is it Cox or hands? Okay, Golden Bowl, Uno. And now the last uh, two decades, uh, top star and extra, okay. Uh, uh, but I have then Panther line, Uno line was also famous. Uh, now I see that, but I saw it too late. The line of Maxima, or for the extreme long distance and the long distance, extremely important. Uh, champion, uh, also an extremely good pigeon and, and he produced in the second and the first and the second generation give extremely good results and, results. and I notice your pigeons cross very well with other birds yeah. people get very good results all around the world some very top that's, names winning that's with your blood my best publicity many I have more than 850 different ventures they're winning a first prize with direct pigeons from me and uh, some financiers, they race with my pigeons better than me. Yeah? And that is the best publicity. <laughs> when, uh, yeah. I think no, not so much financiers can say that uh, they produce so many winners. Well, hey, we have lunch here today. And uh, while we're having our lunch, you tell me in, uh, in uh, the Middle East. Yeah, Ford. oh, that was from yesterday. Yeah. The fourth prize in uh, Emirates, uh, one loft race. And uh, it was, uh, I believe, Umbirka um Loft. Yeah, that is from, I think, Qatar. The fourth prize in the final. It's again for a part, uh, for the start line, that is done uh, Top Star and uh, Olala line. Yeah, uh, but uh, that's, I have a lot of fun, funny uh, when, when they make good results. Yeah, and, uh, Top, top results from top pigeons, yeah, 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 yeah. and so many uh, flyers here in, in Belgium had your pigeons in one, in America, in the Middle East, they win all over. Like uh, Xavier says, you've had reported over 850 yeah, yeah, different yeah, wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, 851 here today. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> no, 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 but yeah, first prize winners. Yeah, I, I talk not from, from good race results, I talk Can, from first prize winners. Eh? Could you imagine if we put in the top prizes? Yeah. How many you'd have? You would have uh, five times that, ten times that. Yeah. Excellent results, excellent pigeons. Yeah. I was wondering, can we go to the loft? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, I follow yes. you. Follow us. Again, we are with Xavier Estrada yeah. of Belgium. It's Every raining. time I come here, it's raining. It's raining. Uh, I was at the show, yeah. uh, at the show in Houghton, and uh, your friend. The Viking, the great Viking, yeah. he says oh. hello. Rolf, yeah. Rolf, yeah. yes. <laughs> and here, oh, the trophy room again. Yeah, yeah, but... Oh, you've taken some, some we, down. We, we, we deleted the trophies. Uh, I need good pages, I need no trophies. <laughs> yeah, and you, you just see here, let me just scroll up. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was... Uh, and uh, the first uh, 15 years, eh? upstairs the golden ball line, and then the, the Jansis, we crossed that with Jansis, but it's, that's just 45 years ago, so we cannot talk from those blood lines from 40 years ago. Eh? Uh, but fantastic, that Elvis was also extremely good, first national ace bird from Germany. Yeah. Uh, and some of the trophies, this used to be just full. Yeah. Full. I, you must have had 500 trophies in here. No, 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 but uh, we put them all. All away. Yeah, that's it. Uh, okay. Here may be uh, championship 2009, general champion Belgium uh, here. Yeah. At and, second and place and, and the 2011 first national ace. Uh, first national champion uh, all round from Belgium and that is for me my highest trophy We're winning five first nationals uh, uh, but 
Okay. Hey, the good results, eh? Even yeah, with your yeah, own yeah, pigeons. Yeah, yeah but uh, you know pigeon sport, it's not everyday sunshine. Pigeon sport is falling down and going up and, and... Getting back up. Hell, helping eat many fans. Uh, All right, okay. we go, go upstairs? Go upstairs, yeah. And again, the breeders are on the second floor. We're at the loft of Xavier Verstrada, Belgium. And just a few more trophies, and you see out the window the racing lofts are right there. We go up here just a little more. And you see all the photos. Lots of photos here, my friend. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, okay, I have here maybe uh, one of the most important pigeons on this moment is my artist. Yeah, uh, fantastic pigeon, very fast wing, fantastic producer. Children and grandchildren winning top prizes, also uh, brothers of him winning uh, top prizes in one loss races. That is the line from uh, Top Star Maxima yep. and uh, crossing with uh, Jao's line from Hebra. Yeah. Now, let me ask you for people that want to know when you open the wing, what are you looking for? Some oh. people may not understand. Oh, fast wing. What yeah, do you mean? No, no, no. Yeah, fast wing. I, I like small feathers. Yeah, yeah, here, small long feathers. I like that. And okay, I cannot talk about uh, how soft or the the quality of the feathers. I think those are for me one of the most important things. Very soft feathers. Yeah, here in Belgium, we have also a lot of rain and. The water drops was falling down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, very important. Uh, uh, but beautiful wing. Beautiful wing, and uh, the first thing impression when you take a pigeon in the hand mm -hmm. after 30, uh, no, a half second, you uh, know this is a top pigeon, yeah, or, or not. Uh, you know it instantly. And, yeah, instantly, and that is he is so exceptional. And the artist, uh, and he, he do that, he, he make fantastic results all as yearling, uh, winning uh, the 21 national from a race from 750 kilometers, uh, as yearling all. Uh, so that's say enough, uh, and he make all the top prizes at that 500 kilometers, but uh, that, that's just not a lucky shot, when a pigeon winning a first prize or a top prize from six, seven hundred or 800 kilometers. Uh, it has to be good pigeons. Yeah, <laughs> and that is only for good pigeons. Uh. Now, and, and these pigeons here, these cocks, you'll see how many hens in a year? Uh, well, yeah, I coupled him for about with 15 hens, I think, or, or yeah, 15 hens uh, each year. Yeah. Uh, every two, three weeks, I coupled him with another hen or, uh, uh, and, and you see, he is now in this moment, he is coupled with uh, here, um, my jewel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's my new phenomenon. Normally I was thinking I will raise her uh, this year again and then she can go to, to the Olympiade or so yes. because she was as young, so fantastic, she winning uh, the first national in zone and, and she, she did it uh, fantastic as youngster, eh? like I say, first national zone and as yearling she was also super, uh, she has qualified in the ranking of people with uh, eight uh, nationals as yearling also eight nationals from 500 kilometers or more, yeah. but uh, last week I heard it from, from another fancier and his best pigeon is catching from a folk 
and uh, I decided that I never raise her and I put her for the whole life on the stock loft uh, because she got lucky, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and she is so now coupled with uh, with the artist. Yeah? Uh, so, uh, yeah. And those, this is how you breed them individually? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so, in, in the next week I have eggs and I, I have coupled him now I notice, with another super hen. Now, I notice here in this individual breeding pen, yeah. you've got a, a bowl in the top, you've got two boxes, yeah. and you've got a little cubby hole down in the bottom. Yeah. A little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but oh, yeah. But uh, I give them not two hands together uh, at the no. same time. No. Uh, sometimes, if I see uh, that the hand or two hands pair with each other, then I put a hand two days in a dark place and. Okay. Uh, uh, that's as possible, but that's it, it's exceptional. But you like to really give them a few different options to make nests. Yes, yes, yes. I let them free, and sometimes I'm changing from loft. I have also an, on backside uh, another loft with uh, a small uh, Avery because uh, not always in those small lofts. Yeah, those lofts are, are more than 50 years old, but. Uh, I have good results and, and that's it for me most important. Uh, so you have your individual pairs and then you have other breeders here as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Also for people wondering. Okay. I like this. What's this yeah. little machine? I think every fancier they need uh, yeah, a brood machine uh, and for, for, for X. So uh, sometimes from I, I must uh, changing X from one couple to another couple for, for, by food by feeders. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes I, I'm looking if an egg is good. Yeah. Uh, when the cock is 10 years old or 15 years old, yeah, 10 or 12 years old, you cannot see every oh, time. Eh? Beautiful, eh? Now, look at the you, look at the baby in it nicely, eh? Baby, yeah, yeah, yeah. After after five six days, you can see oh, if it's a good egg or not. Yeah, but I use it also in in race time. Okay. Yeah, when when the parents are in the the race yeah, and uh, that uh, the eggs are not cold. Uh, so so you use this to keep them keep everything yes, good. Yes, yes, yes. And, yes. and uh, so you use this. How long have you had your incubator for? How many years? Oh, I have no idea. 30, 35 years or more. So uh, it's yeah. something you definitely can't go without. You you have cheapest uh, you have cheap uh, incubators from one for one hundred uh, dollar yeah, but those are even so good then you must in individual water and, and temperature or t turning but this is automatically and now is it possible to look in there yes yeah, of course we of take course. a quick look yeah guys we are with Xavier Verstrada And you see the nice open. Sorry, yeah. It's okay. My wife, she she let them all out. Out. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, this is my stock loft. Uh, uh, this loft is all more than 45 years old. Uh, I put here some cocks. This is Yano. Uh, 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 whole brother of my national winner. There are uh, youngsters from uh, Jano in the auction. He yes. Famous breeder. Uh, he is whole brother from uh, my national winner. Uh, oh, that is also a daughter of. Uh, She's a whole brother, whole brother, whole sister. Uh, you see the beautiful health of the youngsters. Look at a little bit of war paint. Wait a moment. And maybe uh, Xavier has the drinker way off the off the ground. Uh, yeah, that's away nice. from yeah, that's this nice and clean. Yeah, and for and for, for you have no mouse, mouse or so. Uh, so uh, I think it's better that that you put that on the table or on the floor. Uh, uh, and. Uh, it's also important for uh, in night time. 
And they can go outside okay. into the big Avery's all day? Uh, yes, yes, yes. They go out and have a nice uh, large Avery. This is uh, Son of Top Star. The Danny Star, I think. There are also uh, direct youngsters in uh, uh, direct children from him in the auction. His son of Top Star, very good breeder. He gives good pigeons with different hands. Uh, see the health, the quality. Oh yeah, maybe. Beautiful. This is a beautiful pair of youngsters. Look at the health. Again, we are with yeah. Xavier Verstrada. Okay. Yeah, you want to yeah. show? Uh, okay, we, we go downstairs. We got the most of the pigeons sitting outside. Sorry. Hey, it's okay, Xavier. I just, again, you see, you see how it is. It's nice, it's open. Quality seconds and on. Xavier, thank you for showing us the breeders. Thank you. Yeah, I shall, I shall show you a champion. Wait a moment. He's sitting here on the separate loft. Okay. We're going to see champion, guys. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We are with Xavier Verstrada. One more superstar for you to see. The best of the best. <laughs> Winning for over 50 years. Here he is, eh? Yeah, this is him. The... 415 from 2011. Uh, he is also uh, the father of my uh, best racer from 22, uh, the Favorito. Uh, uh, he is also the grandfather of the national ace bird from 21 from Belgium. First national ace bird long distance uh, from Rhone Valley. Therefore, he is grandfather. Uh, a lot of uh, children and grandchildren winning top prizes of him. Winner, winner, uh, winner. Yeah, uh, it's for uh, for a big part uh, uh, from Chris Hebrecht line, but he's crossing with our old uh, bloodline from uh, from 15 years ago. Xavier, I want to thank you again for showing us this. Yeah, that's the breeders, guys. Elite Pigeon Auctions. We are at the lofts of Xavier Verstrada. Here in Belgium. Beautiful double story loft. Xavier, uh, has this been the lo loft always? This has always been the loft? Yes, yes. For yes, that's the over risk. 50 years? Yes, I don't know. Uh, 40 years ago, it was only one floor uh, down down under, but then uh, 40 years ago, my father made uh, a double floor uh, because, yeah, we need, we need more space and now I have too, too much, uh, too much, lots, too much, lots, uh, those there are empty, yeah, but okay, we look, we look, uh, small side. With the, those Avery's, that is good. Uh, pigeons sitting the whole day outside, and uh, so we must not cleaning them. And, and so downstairs, yeah, you race yeah, the yeah, old yeah. birds. Yeah. Music. Yeah, uh, music. Okay, that's better that there is music. Now, is that something you always have in the loft? Is music playing? Uh, yeah, I like it uh, when it is so quiet the whole the whole time. And then you come inside the loft, the pigeons are nervous. But when there is music and, and they heard uh, voices and so, uh, they don't change. Uh, it keeps them more calm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you'll have that music playing all day, all night? It plays? It's not in the night, just uh, from 8 o'clock to in the morning to 8 o'clock in the evening. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, and when you go on the loft, they and we talk, they are not nervous. Otherwise, they are in the widowhood time, uh, they are nervous and it's not necessary. So I see here, these this is uh, the loft from the Cox mm -hmm. here, and uh, there is the loft of the, the hands, uh, nothing specially. 
uh, in the evening they sitting here. So these cocks, yeah, they'll have a round of babies before. No, 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 no young. Uh, I don't breed with them. Uh, normally it's it's better, but uh, otherwise. When I have 120 youngsters for myself, it's more than enough mm -hmm. yeah, for racing. And uh, when I was breeding with those racers, I, then I have 100 youngsters more, and, and that is not necessary. Uh, and I have not enough good hands. You, you, yeah. <laughs> the well, quality we must make the level high, so high as possible, and. and well, I must select those pigeons eh? every year. It's starting from zero. Eh? Uh, so the, the cocks spend all day. They are sitting there, yeah, and, and in the evening they're coming inside. They come inside. They eat. They eat, but I give them then. Uh, normally in the winter time, I give them uh, food here. Yeah, food on, here, on the but table. Uh, once uh, the race time starting, I give them uh, corn uh, in the basket. So yeah? always they eat. Once race season starts, to eat in the boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Twice a day? Uh, twice a day, yeah. Uh, but now not. Uh, I started in, in the fourth month in April, I think, uh, with training and, and uh, two L times. Lost exercise. Yeah, but now not too much work. <laughs> no, just, just, uh, just holding them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When will these cocks start to go out? How many weeks before you start to let them out? But I let them out uh, now uh, every day, 15 minutes or so, uh, but late in the afternoon because I, I'm a, I'll be afraid from, from the hawk and so, so I hope that he have no hungry after four o'clock. <laughs> He's not so hungry after four. <laughs> I, I hope it. Uh, so uh, when do the cocks see the hens? Uh, just before the race, mm -hmm. or but normally always after the race. Eh? Uh, last year, uh, sometimes I, I show them, or sometimes I don't show them, and and then uh, I, I close those doors and I put the cocks here, and I let the hands just walking and showing here dancing for, in front of them for 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 two three minutes. Yeah, uh, I do that also. Uh, but I, I'm changing the system. Uh, it's never the same. Uh, for, uh, never the same, eh? but I'm it, changing eh? sometimes. Uh, 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 maybe that's not the right way. It, it, it's the same system, but you use different motivations. Yes, you, you, yes, you, yes, you yes, don't yes, keep yes, it boring. Yes, yeah, yeah. You, you make it. And uh, there is also one of my problems is these as uh, middle distance and long distance all together. Okay. Yearlings and old birds together. And, and sometimes I must in midweek, I must uh, go to the club. Right. And uh, always at Thursday, uh, Thursday also. Uh, uh, and sometimes at midweek, it's only three or four cocks. That go. That, that go. Uh, and th then I don't show hands. Yeah, uh, but they see all, always each other uh, from Saturday to Sunday. Uh, okay. Uh, anything, anything special you put in the water? Oh, uh, uh, no. Nothing especially on this moment. I use the products from uh, Klaus, mm -hmm. Germany factory, but I use them all more than 35 years. So uh, I have respect for them. They make good products, close grid time. Uh, for me, good products, and, and uh, I give them my word. And uh, away it goes. And, yeah. And, and the products can, are working uh, good. Fantastic. One of the best products are for me from close uh, the Zilber file. Those are uh, tablets, mm -hmm. I Jules, with. Um, Animal protein inside, but liquid. Yeah. Uh, that's it. These are boxes from, from, from 50 years old. Yeah. Here is my racing hand uh, loft. Yeah. Your, uh, those hands sitting yeah, like you see here. Yeah. They, nothing especially. They you open them here, and they, at night they're sitting here. Yeah. And sometimes what I do in the race time is I put some cocks there. This is an old loft from uh, my uh, uh, from my uh, widowhood hair, uh, from my widowhood. Yeah. What I sometimes doing is I put one cock here 
and the hands can sit in left and right. So the cock yeah. goes in the back of the, the box? sitting in the middle, yeah, 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 and uh, the hands can... Flirt with uh, them. Yeah. And get, get a little bit jealous yeah, yeah, on the left. Yeah, 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 that is easy, but everybody can do that, but, uh, yeah, uh, but, yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. And, and you'll do these different little, little yeah, tricks? Yeah, some, yeah, but I do that only two or three times at a year. Uh, uh, every time new things and and believe me pigeons they like new things some fancies they be afraid to change our loft or uh, or sometimes i put here uh, a dark uh, paper box yeah with a hole yes yeah and, and but i do that not always yeah i do that one or two times at a year yeah to, uh, to make it special to, to make it special yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're re you're, you're you're really uh, turning the minds on yeah, of the that, pigeons yeah, yeah, yeah. that when waking the pigeon, them up when the pigeons coming home that they say what's what is new today yeah right. maybe uh, and, and I believe you said also when you train the pigeons in the car, yeah, you put the clock on. You like to see how the pigeons, which ones are first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see all in midweek, or uh, yeah, midweek, uh, what pigeon is really motivated uh, to 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 win next week at the top prize. Yeah, they show it. Uh, they, 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 you make not the motivation also the last hour before the the basketing to the club. You must work in two, three days before all, oh, so, and you must see what pigeons show motivate or show the condition. Then, so, uh, so uh, again, you don't think that motivation, the last hour, that's good. But what you like to see is you like to build up the, as a feeding the, 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 the motivation. Fancies, the good fences they build it up through the week. That, that's it. Yeah, yeah, of course. And sometimes. Uh, last time my uh, my sensation she winning the first national mm -hmm. uh, but I have not seen it in the, at the first moment but here upstairs are my uh, young pigeons. my young bird uh, race loft yes. uh, and uh, at the last moment the last five, five minutes before I go to the club I'm, I'm looking because sometimes uh, pigeons changing from loft yeah, or uh, they coming back from training race one hour later yeah. uh, and that, that's always possible eh? because I don't see that the sitting here maybe 30, 30 hands but if I'm missing one I, I don't see it yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, and that was happened in midweek that my national winner was not coming here but she was coming in by the youngsters right and she was all two days there but she was pairing with a young cock yeah. ah. and she was on our favorite loft when she was starting as youngster there. Eh? So she went and back up to her old, yeah, her old section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm thinking that was the big motivation that she winning then the first national. Eh? And it you, was you, extremely hot weather, more than 35 degrees, more than 500 kilometers, and she winning then the first national, and those are some things. And I put her in my hand, and from the first, Second, I feel it. Oh, that is a pigeon. She's sitting like a balloon, and and, uh, and I'm thinking later uh, when she coming back from race, uh, what was the motivation? But I remember directly that I put her on the loft from the youngsters. Uh, so that is also one of my trips. I put then my pigeons to our old loft or. Uh, or sometimes you can change it from partner, mm -hmm. eh? give them an old partner. Eh? Yeah, a, 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 young, a young hen with an old cock yeah, or yeah, vice yeah. versa. Maybe uh, you are also, you like your your first girlfriend. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes. When you, when you was 15 years old, eh? first love is sometimes also, uh, you, you remember that always. Eh? That maybe is that also the same with pigeons. Eh? Uh, you don't know, but hey, it, it works. But it works, uh, uh, no, but of course you need the good pigeons eh? and then, but that is one of the motivating things. So you see, uh, very simple, but you're, you're constantly watching and building motivation for, through the whole week. Yeah. And that you, not all pigeons are ready at the same time, correct? Yeah. 
it, it, you have to look. It, it they, can change. They have all the same corn, the food, same corn, and why is one pigeon is in condition and the other not? Yeah, uh, I have no explanation for that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but but pretty much a very simple system. Watch the birds, motivate the birds. Watching, I can tell you here, those gates here, 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 those gates. These little holes. You've yeah, done this on purpose. Uh, that is for your eye. Looking, eh, yes. what hand or what cup? And, and, and guys, we're just going to show you. You see the little holes? Yeah, yeah. One. That is, yeah, 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 there. This is because I, you will see what is happening happened on the loft yeah? and uh, one of my tricks is also the peep show the peep show yeah we're I, gonna told, I told you maybe because the hand they are here sitting the hand here sitting the cocks yes and the hands they know it very well also the cocks but I can tell you the hand they sitting here just on this small gate mm -hmm. there the peep show yeah that is the hand they winning the top prize next week they get they want right by the door yeah closest yeah yeah yeah, yeah. closest because they will see the partner from there that i say the peep show yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, know, right? but, and take those hands out of the loft uh -huh. and directly there is another queen by the, the next by the end this section that's there, right. There is also um, a level from eh, who is the king and the other is the prince. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, that is also on the loft zone. There is a boss and there is one in the second place. But you see who, which one is the boss, but you don't see who is on the second place. Take the boss out of the loft and there comes directly another one. You yeah, see. So, Thinking, thinking outside the box, as yeah, Xavier yeah, yeah, yeah. says. And guys, it's okay to make little holes in the door so you can look through a little yeah. peep show. Yeah. Okay. Come Thank on. We, we come out now. Yeah. We are with Xavier Verstrada. You look at. Romeo, well, don't tell me. Ah, uh, well, hey, that, that's a good one. Yeah. We asked only for the best information. Yeah. And you see, uh, you not see. using this now, eh? Yeah, but yeah, that, that, that is here just the same, eh? Uh, I, it's also hands and here cocks and, and yeah. Uh, yeah, you got the I holes see. again, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah holes and then. And... Uh, now, in, in this loft, yeah. will you mix them through the two sections as well or no? Uh, sometimes, or sometimes I let the cocks here, and sometimes I let the hands there, just showing. Uh, uh, what's yeah. this here on the floor? Oh no, no, no. this no, no. nothing. Th this is just for um, for the dusty. Yeah. Oh, for or the dust. The, okay. Uh, when the dust, the dust fly always in the corners and. Uh, now, now, with these birds, when you race them, you use any any special oils on the feed? Uh, okay, yeah, I, I give sometimes oil over the corn and so, uh, and if you give products, I think it's best over the corn, because when, and try to give clear water. Uh, clear water, so yeah, if you're using any uh, type but, of a product? But, okay, uh, I use the products from, from close, uh, with, uh, uh, what I do in, in, in the water is uh, like uh, the electrolytes, yes. yeah, from close, and but uh, not too fast uh, other products. Uh, my principle is that I will drinking from the same water like from the pigeons. Yeah? You can put some stuffs in the drink water, but if you taste itself and it's so bitter, bitter ah, why, why so like the pigeons that? No, uh, uh, so try to drink. <laughs> Your the pigeon's water. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Common sense yeah, means if you if you like to taste yeah. or you can drink it, yeah. normally they that's will drink it. For a little, if you explain it, or if you do a product or, or the medicine, maybe you give honey extra or or uh, uh, sugar. Yeah. Uh, we say drop sugar. Yeah. Sweeten it up. Yeah. Yeah. That's is a possibility. So if you use a product in the water, you'll sometimes add a sweetener to it. Yeah. 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 But normally I. I give not so much products in the water. Like I give a lot of cedar hole, mm -hmm. yeah, but I do that over the corn. Yeah. I use also the yellow drops. Yes. Uh, I do that the last day uh, over the corn because 
otherwise you must give that in in, in the mouth. mouth and so and that's too much work for me eh? but oh the corn is good uh, one of the most important corns is uh, I think uh, sunflower seeds yes yeah and and uh, hemp uh, hemp seed hemp seeds those are for me the, the, the two most important uh, corns and a lot of uh, small seeds with uh, oil inside uh, uh, for energy. And when you feed the birds, do you feed light to heavy? Uh, I, I feed always uh, light in the beginning, yeah? uh, no beans, no uh, yeah, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, no light mix. Uh, light mix uh, but the day from that they uh, arrive, it, then I have uh, give them heavy food with a lot of uh, uh, animal proteins and so uh, and uh, at midweek uh, aminos yeah. so light to heavy and when they return you give them you give them everything they need yeah, to build back up I think we make it too complex uh, I understand that it's not always the best for for the pigeon business or for the products but we make it all too complex I told you there, why is that pigeon the champion and the other one not? And they have all the same corn and the same water. So that's it, it's one of the... Uh, a, little, a little bit more common sense, eh? Yeah, uh, and why is that pigeon in condition and the other ones two or three weeks later? Uh, sometimes we have not an explanation, explanation for that, but we make too much work, therefore, that I told you from in the beginning, it's 85% the quality of the pigeon and the other 15% is the good loft. I have here no ventilation. But therefore, ventilation, that is a bad story. That, that is not necessary. But the, the, the most of the fences give too much ventilation. Put it uh, in Avery, it's very good, but no windy and so. Uh, no when draft. You, when you are a smoker, you see best how how works the ventilation so uh, but warm warm pigeons need uh, a warm loft warm loft do you add heat to this loft or do you just leave it i have the floor heating here, uh -huh. but i use it only two times a year in the beginning of, of uh, in the beginning of the season sometimes when it is like today cold yeah, and and it's i think it's only yeah, two, three, four degrees now. Eh? So that is not perfect for, for condition. Eh? Uh, uh, so pigeons need how warmer at night, how better. Warmer at yeah. night. So you'll close the windows in the evening, uh, in racing season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, that I say, ventilation, yeah, it's better too warm than too cold. Eh? Guys? That is like when you lay in your bed and you have cold in your bedroom, Blowing on you, it's not yeah, good. Yeah, when, uh, okay. But, uh... Xavier, yes. thank you for showing us your, your downstairs loft. Beautiful setup, very simple, guys. Uh, results, 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 motivation. Remember, it's not a one-time thing, yeah. it's multiple. Yeah, yeah. Xavier? And, and selection up the 500 kilometers, believe me, and race with hands. Yeah, uh, you can select things better and uh, then you make uh, a better uh, results in breathing a lot. Thank you, Xavier. And maybe a tip, yeah. try to bring your wife on the loft because the wives, they make everything cleaner and they are closer with pigeons. Yeah, so this is also a very good tip. Always it's only five minutes at the day, but or five minutes at the week. Yeah, you go working and, and you give a call to your wife, let them out, I come back at home at 30 minutes. Yeah. That's a fair example. All right. All right. Thank you, Xavier. And four, four eyes see more than two eyes. Four eyes see more than two. Yeah. Well said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The good fans, yes, they looking. Yeah. What has happened? On four eyes see more. Yeah. There it is. All right. Xavier Verstrada. Well, Thank you. All the best. Bye. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We hope you enjoyed that amazing loft tour. Please, reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Until the next loft tour, thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.